Hello, David Webb here. Outside broadcast today. I'm just outside Paynton. Broad Sands Beach is just behind me, and Brixham is just over there. And uh, I'm just on the coast here, painting a rocky scene uh, with some very calm water. It's quite warm already, and it's only quarter to eight. Anyway, see what we can make of it. Ooh, welcome to David Webb Art. I use this spirit level to keep my painting palette level. My palette's got a nice big mixing area for mixing washes. I've got a couple of synthetic mop brushes which I like to use. And I've got this nylon flat brush which I use for lifting out. I drilled these holes in the easel shelf so my brush is always easy to find. I've got a sheet of 200 pound knot. This is Bockingford and it's taped to the board. Before I start painting I draw an outline of the scene just to establish the large shapes and the proportions. I like to establish the lightest tones with a wet into wet wash. So after diluting a few colours, I wet the whole surface of the paper with a brush. While the paper's still damp, I start brushing in colours. Got cobalt blue, alizarin crimson. A little raw sienna here, mixed with blue. And some more crimson here too. A bit of burnt sienna there, mixed with a bit of cobalt. Uh, some quinacridone on the top there. There's more crimson and cobalt there. So I start this first stage with a wet into wet wash and this just establishes a nice sort of atmospheric background for the rest of the washes to build up on. has to be done very quickly before it all dries. It's important to let this wash dry completely before going on to the next stage. The second wash is painted wet on dry. I'm just painting some ripples now uh, using quinacridone gold and cobalt blue. Just using a damp brush to soften the edges there. A little cobalt blue and alizarin crimson here. Again using a damp brush just to smooth the edges. For this patch of grass on top of the rocks here, I'm using quinacridone gold mixed with some cobalt blue. A little more quinacridone gold to warm it up there. Now this second wash represents a sort of medium tones, but here and there you get little highlights. Uh, on the rocks and on the grass. Whoops, just catch that drip. I'm adding burnt sienna in there on the left with cobalt blue and some crimson going in as well. Yes, I leave I leave a few gaps and these represent little highlights.
that big rock on the left you can see is all done in one wash with the colours mixing on the paper and it's important to have my board at an angle so those colours run down the paper I'm using the same technique on that uh, rock to the right there the rock and its reflection are all just one wash there this second stage now has to dry off completely before I add some dark tones now this area here when I first arrived the sun was just creeping over I don't want to lose that effect so I'm applying shadows now this is a uh, cobalt blue with crimson and a little burnt sienna and we're just washing down the cliff there leaving gaps again for highlights same with that rock on the right there leave a few gaps where the sun's catching it and then I'm going to work down into that reflection again create a few ripples now I've changed the wash to a greener wash as we go down into the reflection as you can see Oh, that's a small tortoise shell. They're a little scarce these days. Putting in some final darks now. Um, a few details. Again, a strong mix of cobalt and burnt sienna with a little crimson too. This is my uh, sword liner brush, which I only use for very fine detail right towards the end of a picture. So it's great for doing things like this, these details like grasses. And using my bigger brush again just to put in a few real strong darks the sun's just creeping over the top here and catching the top of this rock careful not to uh, lose those highlights now I'm using my sword liner to create some cracks in the rocks use my medium brush to paint some of those larger cracks just a few last details now Sword liner again. And I think I'll stop there. Well, I think that's about it for today. Um, I'm quite pleased with the picture. It's quite a simple uh, arrangement water and rocks. And the trick is to sort of get the sort of bold impression in watercolour try and catch the light more than anything because that's changing all the time so um, I think I made a fair crack at that and uh, I think I'll go in now before I get burnt to a crisp thank you well thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video then please hit the like button and if you want to see more then please uh, subscribe and I'll see you next time